Last night, we told you about a little boy who was badly burned by an explosion in his front yard. Tonight, we are hearing from a woman connected to the incident who says she too suffered severe burns when she was a child. News Channel Line's Hannah Lawrence joins us now with more. Hannah. Latricia Calvin, those that live in the neighborhood where that explosion happened last night say they're still in shock. Today, I talked to one neighbor who helped put out the flames on the clothing last night on the little boy. She says she felt his pain in an especially heavy, heavy way. Stop, drop, and roll. We've all heard it, but Stephanie Merritt says she was in shock as she shouted it at her neighbor. And when I looked outside, the little boy was like engulfed in flames and he took off running mm -hmm. behind the house mm -hmm. and I start screaming, make him drop and roll, make him drop and roll. Merritt says when she was a child, 90% of her body was badly burned in a grease fire and those memories came back yesterday. I could just feel it. I could feel the pain. And it's a pain that you can't, just can't describe. Chattanooga Fire spokesman Bruce Garner says the nine year old boy has second and third degree burns on his legs. He's now at a burn unit in Augusta, Georgia for additional care. Burn injuries are particularly bad, uh, especially for children because they're still growing. Which is exactly what Merritt says she experienced. I had a, my head wrapped, I had to wear a straight vest to cover my arm. I'd have. Um, Skin grafts done. Merritt says this isn't the first time she's seen her neighbors burning materials outside. They burn their little trash right there. They're just little different cultures than we are, and they have their own way of doing things, and we just accept it. Garner says this incident happened while the fire department was trying to get the word out about safety during Burn Awareness Week. It illustrates the point for us whether you're a child or whether you're an adult. You should never use gasoline around fire, period. But really for any purpose, use it as a fuel for your vehicles or for your outdoor power tools. That's about it. Merritt tells me her son plays with that little boy almost every day. She says the family that has lived across the street for years and they do have other kids as well. Hannah, what's the law in Chattanooga about burning your own materials? Well, the fire officials tell me you do have to have a burn permit to burn uh, your own materials in your yard. Uh, they said that they checked that home did not have one. However, you're not allowed to burn after 4 p.m. as it is anyways. But such a tragedy for that little boy. Absolutely. Okay. Keep us updated. Thank you.